fucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for the support. You know, we have gone through so many shifts and we've been going through so much clearing. It is just a good thing that the videos I put out, that the situations I go through and the visions that I have, you know, y'all totally resonated with them, which is truly a blessing to know that you are not alone dealing with these crazy issues. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell at the bottom. And um, so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact gift and how it impacts your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you are um you feel like the videos is just giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, go ahead and um uh go ahead and share, you know, especially if they're having uh, going through dark times, trying to need, I said trying to need, uh, needing confirmation or validation towards their life path or their sole purpose, especially dealing with dark times, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, whatever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly grateful. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. It's, you know, it's a blessing. And yes, the music, I love this music that I am listening to right here. It's called um, Zen Music for Positive Energy. Transform all negative energy, raise your vibration, deep cleanse. And I'll be posting that link in the description box below. And um, my video today, I love that music because it makes me feel like I'm in a botanical gardens. Like in, some, in, in Asia somewhere. But I don't know why it makes me think about that with that little guitar thing in the, uh, in the background. But today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas. Uh, incredible things are happening for you, uh, no matter what doubt and uncertainty tries to tell you. It's really true. You know, if you've been going through this spiritual awakening for a long time, you've been dealing with cutting cords, uh, uplifting yourself in many ways, you know, trying to raise your vibration as much as you desperately try to. But it's just like always something that is dragging you back 10 paces back sometimes and it can be frustrating but it's just like it is like you're you're clearing your karma these are some some things you truly have to do you know there's things you have been working hard for manifesting but you know there's a lot of things for you to be able to get blessed with those things there's a lot of things you have to be able to have faith in god and uh faith in the universe being able to clear your karma because it's just like i said this is the year well this is the generation and this this is your year as well you you'll see the signs of the generational curse uh generational what is it generational curse and kar karmic cycles that we're going through and it's just like we're clearing a lot of things you know it's allowing you to see the things of your past it's just like some people you know i can feel their energy like dag you really went through some stuff in your past life you know and you were persecuted for it in so many different ways it is so crazy you know, because it this is it, that's the reason why everything is so intense. Everything's so sensitive. It has you highly sensitive, hypersensitive. We're already hypersensitive as it is. And with you being a hayoka, we go through too much hell. I don't want a hell that we are not even supposed to be going through, but we allow ourselves to go through these things because we need deep healing. And you know, there's a lot of other people who just commonly let things go without wanting to know the reason for them letting it go. We we're the ones who always got to be the FBI and CIA and you know CSI and all. All these different things on trying to figure out why we're going through the things we're going through and it's just like you know you have so many things coming at you you know it could be negative people negative people throwing salt on your game you know they don't like i told y'all before you know if you watch my videos for a while if people can't see the dreams for themselves and knowing they can have the same potential you do if they just apply themselves to do it but sometimes when it comes to change people don't like that and it's just like hey if you expect these big and beautiful things to go on in your life you have to be able to take that first step on changing for yourself you know and all your surroundings you know you know you're going on on a glow up because if you notice you're not always going the route the same route that you did you know trying to clear yourself you're not taking that you know that same 
you know, same situation of healing, situation of healing like you did before you are you are in your awakening state. And if you are, you know, that's going to take you a while because you can't go about it like you did before. You know, this is a whole whole new ball game because back then you were asleep. So it's just like going through all these different things. You know you're working for it. You know there are certain things you truly want in your life that's coming forward. But there is just like, you know, you want this, but you have to be able to work hard for it. You know, like I said before, you universe needs to see how bad you truly want these things in your life. Are you willing to take those L's, make mistakes, have failures, setbacks, and still not give up on what you truly want? If you can walk away, that honestly tells the universe, well, I guess he or she didn't really want it that bad because they're giving up. You know, there's a lot of times I don't make mistakes. I had to learn from my mistakes. A lot of times you can't say too much to other people. Even though there's something you want to be truly proud of, you cannot go out there and say it because your energy is so uplifted some some people are miserable as hell. So if they see that stuff, they're like, oh no, nah, I gotta pray on that. They can't get that. They don't deserve that. You know, some people play judge and jewelry in your life. You know, just like there are certain things that's going on in my life. You know, from my example, you know, of you know, if you've been with me for a while, you knew what kind of situations I was placed in for my adopted dad and my stepmom. You know, um, and it was just like so many things I wanted to step here. You did this and you did that and you did this and you did that. I, I'm not even going to do that because it's just the fact is because I used to be that smart one. Oh, if you ain't got to worry about that because if this happened, uh-uh, because -uh, that's when people prey upon you to make sure that they block you on your stuff. People can't prey on what they can't see. So there's a lot of things you have to keep to yourself. You know, and it's just like, you know, you have to keep going and doing what you need to do. But you, you'll you notice you're learning from your past mistakes. Like, you know, there's things that you want in your life. And you, when you're really doing that groundwork and you get frustrated about, you know, why am I still in the same situation? You know, I'm doing the part. But obviously, you're not doing everything you're supposed to if you're still there. There's more that you need to learn for that certain situation for you to be able to go to that next step. Yes, you're getting signs to let you know these are happening for you because they need you to have that um that basically that validation to say hey these are the things that are going on in your life because we're going to show you little snippets of things you probably have that deja vu uh, experience like hey the things i'm doing i've done this before because your higher self you're getting in tune with your higher self and they already know how it's going to play out don't feel like oh because i'm not putting enough time in for this and you're being hard on yourself it's because you should have been there by now no everything's going at divine timing but you will have no matter what doubt and uncertainty because fear preys upon about that because we have fear in our hearts and not having that faith in the universe not having that faith within ourselves you know that things are coming forth your way because these are the things you truly earn these are the things you truly deserve you have to know that you're worthy for all these things that you're trying so hard to have you have to have that conf uh, con confidence in yourself that the things that you're working on you truly deserve to have there was took a long time for me to feel like i had that confidence like do i really feel like i earned this you know because it's like if you've been in a situation for so long where everybody threw doubt on your life, um, people picked at you a lot. Um, you were constantly getting to the things because people saw that light within you you weren't able to see in yourself. You know, I went through all those experiences. There was a lot of people that were in my life that's known me since I was a kid. And they used to constantly pick on me. And I didn't know why. And it was just like, because people knew who I was related to and didn't want to say nothing because my my uh, my mom's ex-husband and, and his wife used to brag about that stuff. And they used to tell their friends, but they would tell them what they want to tell them, but they never told them the whole story. So they used to pick on me about that stuff. And it was, it was just like, now I can understand why they did that. You know, because a lot of people used to press their insecurities on me just because of who I was related to. And that's like, was it my fault about who God placed me? I said, if you want to be mad at anybody, be mad at God. That's the only person you can be mad at. And you still can't get mad at God because if God wanted this in my life, he put it there for a reason. But it's just like now I can sit up here and learn from the negative outcomes that comes in my life. You know, I even though I push out positivity in my videos and I keep it real with everybody I laugh at when I when I get people that come all the way out their way to give me a thumbs down because I really feel like you have to be a miserable person to give somebody a thumbs down because you feel like you you throwing salt on them now I'm like, you can throw salt all you want to because I feel like I'm, I'm grateful for those because that lets me know that is not going to bother me 
you know that doesn't bother me because it feels like people go out their way because they're miserable out their lives they got to come in and do that you know so i'm just like hey i still pray for you you know and, it, and it just like i tell people if you wish bad things upon me don't get mad when your blessings don't come when it's supposed to you know and i tell people even though i still pray for you i pray for the ones that you know are there to support me i, I mean i'm grateful for everything i experienced and it's just like i used to get frustrated and ask god why i haven't got the things i had you know i feel like i have a right to you know, know my family, that's wrong for the universe to hold that back from me. You know, I feel like it's a given for you to be able to know, but it is a lot deeper than that. And I get that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just, I'm patient. I'm very patient on things that's coming into my life because I know as long as I'm, you know, I'm waiting, I know it gives me that time to go ahead and work on me, improve myself and, you know, heading towards my better version of myself. And I know y'all are doing the same thing. So that's how you really truly need to work, look at it. See the signs that God and universe are giving you. They're, they're echoing out the things that you truly want in your life because you'll get the signs. You know, if you know you're working hard to save up for this car, a certain car that you want, and all of a sudden you see one passing you, you shouldn't get frustrated because it's, you see it and that's, you know, it reminds you of the things you want. That's just the universe record, you know, echoing to you, yes, we know you wanted this in your life. So let's allow you to see this car or you, you see it on TV and, you know, all these different things. That's letting you know whatever you are manifesting, whatever you're working on, these things are going to happen for you because they send you signs but know that you're going to get these things don't allow your fear your doubt and uncertainty throw that vibe on you because the more you doubt and you're uncertain that these things are happening to you that will be the vibration that you're you're pushing out to the universe and they're sending that back and that's the music reason why you haven't gone through that but the universe is also letting you know if you can believe in yourself you can have the faith for this we're sending you the signs that you truly need to pay attention to just to know that these things are going to happen for you you're just working hard and it's like you know at times i used to feel like god was punishing me for the things that happened but that's truly it was you know i had to step out my feelings and look at the bigger picture you know look at a different perspective why did these things happen and why am I by myself? You know, why don't I have anybody to vent to? There's a lot of things I can't up and talk to anybody about. You know, I noticed that people I've gotten close to, you know, there's a few of them that I still talk to, but there's a few of them I stopped talking to just because the fact is they felt like I wasn't, you know, worthy enough to have the things in my life. And I'm like, that is not fair. You know, I said, I wouldn't do that to you because my journey is my journey. Your journey is your journey. But don't judge my journey where you feel like, you need to try to stop my blessings because it's like, you know, you shouldn't feel that way. And I have to keep telling people that, you know, that's why I don't allow myself to get too close to people just because of that situation. So it's just like, you know, I, I've learned, I had to learn from that. It's a sucky situation, but hey, it is what it is. But you know when you're working on yourself, you're cutting cords that is not serving you. If it's a toxic vibration or you have to second guess why that person's in your life, you need to cut them off. You're working on yourself. You don't have time to be trying to say, well, I need friends and I need this. Whatever you need is going to be supplied to you. You know, when you start cutting people off that are not supposed to be in your life and you know you're on your stuff, you're on your grind, you know, you're empowering yourself, you're empowering others. You know, you're pushing love and light out. You're being positive. You're working on yourself on healing, cutting the cords to the trauma you know, traumatic situations that's happening in your life, you're healing from those things, you're letting it go. They will grab, you know, things will gravitate towards you like it's supposed to be. So you have to be able to give yourself that time, being able to know what you truly need to know and know that all your things are eventually coming to you. So I hope you were able to resonate. I want to give a post notification shout out to Sammy Mackey. Uh, I would love to give a shout out to Lisa Williams as well as Ray Fisher. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I would love a chance to hear from you. Let me know if you, you feel like this video is resonating with you. And so as much light, love and light as and possibility of positivity as you possibly need uh push out because you never know what kind of words can really take somebody so far and know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and know there's always someone out there praying for your better days i pray for y'all each and every day and i hope that all your blessings and desires that you truly want is coming towards your way because you truly deserve them and i love y'all very much and like i said like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video share and also give me a thumbs up and i'll see you later much love to you peace and be wild